Climbing back upon Mount Soapbox for another rant. And I never thought that I would be ranting about something in the Halloween event for GTA Online because overall, I think it's a very good event. I was talking about it in Thursday's video. There's a lot going on. Plus, Rockstar is going to add more stuff going forward. Probably the Halloween mask for sale at Vespucci Beach. The serial killers, Christine, more UFOs. There's several masks you can end up getting through various uh, tasks. And also the horror pumpkin mask by collecting 10 jack-o'-lanterns scattered across the map. Fortunately, you only need 10 jack-o'-lanterns for the mask and the $50,000 bonus. However, if you want the rare pumpkin t-shirt, prepare for nightmare fuel. You have to collect all 200 jack-o'-lanterns in one day to unlock more rare items like the pumpkin shirt and additional bonus money. Oh, and watch out for the tricks because you'll get electroshocked, you'll get stunned, you'll get stoned, you'll get blown up. <laughs> But I get it. I get it. The tricks, the traits, I understand what they were going for when it comes to trick or treat and Halloween. What really grinds my gears and fellow creators out there as well that have been trying to get all 200 jack-o'-lanterns is the fact that there is several issues here. For one thing, you don't have till the end of the Halloween event to collect all 200. You have to do it, quote unquote, within a one day period. So when everything resets at the end of the day in GTA Online, so does the pumpkin count. Now, it'll keep track in the daily collectibles of up to 10 pumpkins in order to let you know how many jack-o'-lanterns you need to get before you can collect uh, the uh, horror pumpkin mask. Obviously, you need 10 out of 10 for that. What it will not tell you is how many jack-o'-lanterns total you have collected across the map of Southern San Andreas. And last night, while Riley and Kane were playing Overwatch 2, I was working my way all the way across the map of Southern San Andreas. By the way, shout out to Gilly Master, who provided a link to this map in one of his videos, gtaweb.eu. And also shout out to GTA Series Videos for their nearly two hour long video. And I highly recommend to any of you that does this challenge, make sure you have plenty of time and most likely go with the GTA Series Video and just go step by step, jack-o'-lantern by jack-o'-lantern, from start to finish. When it comes to the GTA web.eu map, I think they did a great job with this map, but it shows you how daunting of a task it is to get all 200 jack-o'-lanterns. Thursday morning, I started up here in Polito Bay, and you will notice that in the B-roll from Thursday's video where I got the mask. I also started up there because this was the first spawn location for the UFO. Obviously, each day the UFO ends up moving. Throughout Thursday, when I had some free time, I would jump back in, go to GTA series videos, work my way through Mirror Park, then down here on the east side of the map. And then ultimately, I also started using the GTA web.eu map I'm showing off right now. And I worked over here. I went into Vinewood Hills. I tried to be as thorough as possible, but I think this is one of the worst places to try and get all the jack-o'-lanterns. And then I worked my way like over here by the cemetery down to the beach. There's not many on the beach, so that's not too difficult. The Vespucci Canal and then down here in Strawberry and East Los Santos and there's, there's some downtown as well. And it's just a real chore to try to even get through the jack-o'-lanterns in Los Santos. And I did miss a few after I tracked across the map. So once I felt like I had collected all the jack-o'-lanterns, by the way, I was obviously wrong, I started to move north in my adventure. You know, going here, here, here. Using a car as well as my Sparrow helicopter and my Buzzard helicopter 
So I was just jumping between vehicles, trying to get across the map. This went on for several hours. And so I collected all these jack-o'-lanterns, at least I, I guess I thought I did. And I collected these. And then I came up here. I think I came up here to Stab City. Then I, then I headed this way towards Sandy Shores. I collected these jack-o'-lanterns. I went out to Cape Catfish to get these two. Then I went back to uh, Grapeseed to secure all these. Obviously, I'd already gotten all these this uh, Thursday morning, so this wasn't an issue. And then I just doubled back over here and you know grabbed these remaining ones. I think I missed this one, actually, so I had to double back and go get this one. But I grabbed this one at the Vineyard, as well as this one at Devin Weston's house. And then I went down to Chumash, and this is where I thought that I was nearing the end of the journey. But whenever I collected this jack-o'-lantern after I got all these jack-o'-lanterns, it wasn't over. And then I realized, oh shit, I must have missed one or two. But turns out I, I missed more than one or two because I, I think I missed this one. There were one or two more I picked up here. And then I went down to Strawberry, you know, where you know the, the Balas are as well as the Avagos. And I think I, I picked up a couple more here as well. And I was just double tracking throughout the map, desperately trying to figure out where I missed a jack-o'-lantern. And unfortunately, time ran out and I just gave up. After Riley's Overwatch 2 stream was over, I'd already spent hours on this and I was pretty burnt out because I felt like I'd gotten into the 190s. I had to have been off by maybe one, maybe two jack-o'-lanterns after going all the way across the damn map, starting like I mentioned once again, uh, in the morning, Polito Bay, I started there and then I, I worked my way here and all over here and here and then back over here again. And I, I doubled and tripled in a lot of places trying to desperately remember like if, if there was any particular spot that didn't look familiar. And even if you have a really good memory, how are you supposed to remember every single spot that you went to go pick up a jack-o'-lantern it's almost impossible you'd have to have like the greatest photographic memory of all time i have a good memory but my memory's not that good and so i just finally gave up i'm like I, there's no way i'm gonna find if i'm missing one if i'm missing two i just don't think i can do it and so i, I kind of threw on the towel and unfortunately as a lot of people have done you know with the daily resets, everyone has to start over. And the truth is I really don't want to start over after what I went through Thursday. At least I got the mask. At least I got the 50,000 bonus money and a few extra bucks here and there and some health and some shield and some snacks and also got a few tricks, including being blown up a few times. Oh, and I did get a little bit of time as uh, various uh, animals there's like a time limit on the animals, though, whenever uh, you get the peyote uh, change. I think it's like three to five minutes, so it's not a permanent peyote plant transformation. I hope they actually re-add the peyote plants to the game for Halloween season. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But regarding the jack-o'-lantern hunt, at first I thought this was going to be a lot of fun because I do love Halloween season. And I went into it pretty positive, even though I found out like so many others thanks to Taz and a few others out there that there was 200 total and then he dropped the bombshell on the socials via Twitter Thursday that it was a one day thing you had to get all 200 jack-o'-lanterns within a day's period before the reset if you failed to do so you'd have to start back over at zero out of 200 once again Rockstar came very close to a, a pretty good Halloween event and an awesome jack-o'-lantern hunt Except for the fact that they royally screwed over anybody and most players that are trying to do this 200 jack-o'-lantern hunt. Now, I'm sure there's a few people out there that followed the GTA series video to the letter. And I highly recommend you do that. You may want to use a motorcycle, helicopters, a broomstick, and be very thorough about each region of the map you are hunting jack-o'-lanterns in. But the GTAweb.eu map was also helpful. Now, as Gilly was talking about during his stream, because I was watching it Thursday night, it's possible there might be a bug and maybe he collected all 200. Maybe I collected all 200. Maybe others managed to collect all 200. But we're just being screwed over through another one of these quote unquote rock star features that we've come to know when it comes to GTA Online as well as Red Dead Online. 
So I feel like that Rockstar did not do a good enough job QA testing this event when it comes specifically to the jack-o'-lantern hunt. And why did you have to put 200 on the map? Better question. Okay, 200 is fine. But why did you have to make it to where we had to get 200 of the jack-o'-lanterns in one day when, you know, it's school year and work and, you know, people don't have as much time to, to sit there for hours on end, even watching the two-hour GTA series video in order to collect all 200 jack-o'-lanterns within that one day period, all of which for a lousy pumpkin t-shirt. This is how I think it should have been. 200 collected before the end of the Halloween event, giving you till the end of Halloween day, Monday, October 31st, to collect all 200 jack-o'-lanterns in order to get the pumpkin shirt. Show on the map the jack-o'-lantern locations that we've already discovered. That way, we don't keep going back to these same spots in Vinewood Hills, our Strawberry, our Polito Bay, our Chumash, our other parts of the map where there's tons of jack-o'-lanterns. And the final suggestion is pretty obvious. While we applaud Rockstar for doing 10 out of 10 on the daily collectibles for the uh, Halloween pumpkin mask, the horror pumpkin mask, why is there not a mount left to find out of 200 when it comes to this jack-o'-lantern hunt in the interaction menu in the collectible section. Because the truth is, I have no idea how close or how far away I was from that 200 number. I could have been one jack-o'-lantern off or two or three jack-o'-lanterns off. But thanks to the daily reset, I'm now 200 jack-o'-lanterns off. It was kind of demoralizing putting all those hours into trying to get all the jack-o'-lanterns only to come up short at the end. The truth is, I really don't feel like going through the effort a second time. Even if I was to sit there and let the GTA series video handhold me for two plus hours, because it would go on for longer than two hours. Yeah, the video is nearly two hours long, but you got to watch it. You have to be lucky enough to have like a second monitor or laptop to watch it on. And I know not everybody's that lucky. Or you have to have your smartphone while you're playing the game on your other monitor. And then you have to go to each location, hit the pause button, grab the jack-o'-lantern, hit play, continue the cycle over and over and over again 200 times, which is going to end up being way longer than two hours. There's definitely some treats I've enjoyed about the Halloween event in GT Online, but coming so close yet so far when that day resets, it's heartbreaking for anyone that put forth several hours trying to collect all 200 jack-o'-lanterns in vain. And I know we're in the spirit of Halloween season, Rockstar, but that is a pretty foul treat indeed. I seriously doubt Rockstar is going to do anything to fix the issues revolved around the 200 jack-o'-lantern hunt. I would be pleasantly surprised if they actually did something at all between now and and Halloween. Some will choose to start over at the very beginning and try again. Me, on the other hand, as much as I was hoping to acquire the t-shirt, even though it's a very rare t-shirt, quite the milestone, the accomplishment, getting all 200 jack-o'-lanterns, um, I just don't want to go through what I did Thursday and Thursday evening and Thursday night again, even though I was to sit here and patiently go through the GTA series video, region by region, jack-o'-lantern by jack-o'-lantern. I just have other stuff to do, Rockstar. It's called real life. And it's unfortunate that they, they took a premise that was a lot of fun, you know, going and collecting the jack-o'-lanterns, get 10 for the mask and $50,000 bonus, and then try your luck at going for 200 across the map. Sometimes you get a treat. Sometimes you get a trick. But the biggest trick of all of them is trying to get 200 jack-o'-lanterns within a one-day period. I guess the joke was on all of us that tried and failed. But for those of you that somehow managed to succeed to get all 200 jack-o'-lanterns, I hope you covet and cherish that t-shirt till the end of GTA Online. Your thoughts, views, and opinions regarding the now infamous 200 jack-o'-lantern hunt going on in GTA Online throughout Halloween season. As always, welcome below in the comments section.